got, hey guys, um, I just want to have a, I guess make my second video of, um, my channel, and, uh, I just want to say that, uh, if I could help one person with this channel, that means a whole lot to me, you know, because I want you guys to, you know, go somewhere where it relates to you in a sense, but yeah, um, today, you know, it's a spider co box, it's the, uh, let's see, the ambitious, Let's see on that. It's the ambitious uh, model number C one forty eight GP. Um, is the ambitious is the smallest version of the tenacious lineup. You know, there's the tenacious and the persistent, which this will be getting a review pretty soon. But uh, yeah, um, I picked this up at Spider Co for around thirty four. Yeah, let's get into it. Um, what it comes to you. It's in the typical Spyderco box, you know, slides, get your pad in there, no big deal. Um, yeah, get your plastic, which is just wonderful. And yeah, um, tiny, it's a smaller knife, I mean, for the most part. But let's talk about the specs on this. Oh, uh, you got a G10 handle. Just like the other, just like the tenacious and the persistence and the resilience. I do not have the resilience yet, if you, if you're wondering. Um, but uh, it is made in China, which some people that is a turn off for me. I kind of collect them, you know. I got the tenacious and persistence, like I said. So it's kind of like a, you know, people collect the Sage series. I'm not that rich. I cannot afford that. But um, yeah, so it's made in China. It's on the cheaper end. Um, the G10, you got, what is this, Phillips head? No, not Phillips, um, Torx, no, Allen, sorry. I got a, uh, Allen, Allen screw set up, uh, lanyard hole, you get your four-way pocket clip with your right and left-handed, it works perfectly fine. Um, this three ounces, which I find it, I mean, yeah, it feels about three ounces, um, Here's my iPod. Let's check the specs. Um, before this, the overall length of this is five and three sixteenths inches. Close length is say about a little under four, and let's see, blade length is two and a four. So this is a stubby little blade. To be honest, um, the blade thickness is about eighth of an inch and ripped it on the whole specs thing. But uh let's see the plant which it's so small. Um it's using eight CR thirteen MOV. Focus on Yeah this thing's not gonna focus in I got this card. Let's see this one. There we go, eight CR thirteen MOV steel. Um, I've had pretty good luck with this steel. Um, bird knives, I really don't care for them. Uh, they are, uh, very, I don't know, the steel doesn't work. F I mean, for me, I don't like the steel on there. Um, it's very average, I would say. Kind of like that Gerber mystery steel, you know what I mean? But, um, it's a, let me see, right-handed, I can pop it out, but, um, if you want to get this knife, one thing I have to say is the fact that you were able to get it right-handed, and I'm able to pop that out really quick. But for left-handed, almost half the hole's gone. Because on this side, you can see part of that. Um, adjust here. Okay. Okay. Um, so you gotta zoom in. Pocket clip is great. It's really tight. You know, and you pull it up, but it's it's staying there. Um, jimping. First time I've actually done that, but the jimping on here, and actually, pulling that, the note card out. It's very sharp. Let's see. Sharp jimping, I mean, you get a nice purchase on that, you know. Your, your hand's not slipping forward. Um, you do have jimping on the, on the liner. And if you want to know, this is line, I mean, Drilled out completely. Let's see. You guys can make that out. Let's see. 
I should probably should go from the back of the knife. But uh it's drilled out completely. Let's see. Even the they even put uh holes there, which you probably wouldn't imagine. Um they even actually put a, a hole in the uh the frame. The frame, the, the uh liner. I c I cannot speak today. If you can see right there. It's got that little cutout. I mean, this is a great knife. Um, I wouldn't consider this a, as a, you know, as a gentleman's folder by any means. I mean, it's more of a work knife. But it's, yeah, it's more of a work knife than anything. Um, if you're looking for a Spyderco gentleman folder, I'd probably suggest the UK pen knife or the um, Spyderco grasshopper. That's more logical because it's stainless steel, you know, no pocket clip. But uh, other than that. It's just a great, I mean, it's a great knife, you know, it's, if you want to add it to the collection, you know, go ahead. Um, size comparison. This is the Tenacious, no, Ambitious. Uh, there's the Persistence and the Tenacious. Sorry for the marks on these knives, I mean, I kind of use them, but, I mean, I'm trying to clean as I possibly can, but, I mean, it's pretty much just, it's like, it's just a shrinked up persistence. You know, it's got a great liner lock. You know, everything. It's, it's thick. But yeah, I mean, for um, this one I paid 31 They got that off uh, poorfish.com. Yes, it's my other, my first video. This one I paid uh, 36 at Spider Co. This one I paid 33 at Spider Co. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's just a great knife. Um, what other specs? I'm probably going to forget half the stuff on this thing. Um, I mean, the, the hole... Uh, another thing about the hole. Um, let's compare it to this one. Okay. If you notice the fact... I mean, they take the design. They completely start off a new design, so they're not the same in any way. But, I mean, they are the same, but they redesign it. Because you'll notice little details, but notice more of the hole in this is gone than this, than the persistence. But, uh, oh man, I can't get that one. But, uh, if you notice, if we can try to line these up, uh, this is going to be a pain. Right there. Yeah. Okay. If you notice, probably can't make that out. I mean, the the hole on the Ambitious is slightly smaller than the um, Persistence and the Tenacious. Um, you get the Ambitious and you don't have the Persistence or the uh, Tenacious or anything. You know, it's going to be a... You're going to love this knife. It's a great workhorse, you know, of a knife. But once... Or if you do have the Tenacious or the Persistence... Or pretty much the Tenacious. If you have this knife... And you use it for a while, and you go back to this, you'll just be like, wow, this is huge. You know, because you get that, what, three and three inch blade. But, I mean, I re really recommend this knife. Um, it's a good gift for people, you know what I mean? Um, no, I mean, I can't say anything. I mean, out of five, I give it out like a four. I mean, there are some. I mean, one of the downfalls of this knife is the fact that it's made in China, but it's great quality control. Um, what I wanted to point out, like another thing was, you know, I told you that the redesign, the, um, if you notice on the Tenacious, it's more of a, uh, kind of like, it's not as, uh, sharp of a, like, you know, it's not, circ it's not as circular, if you look on this, you know, heard of the two, I think the Ambitious, even the, uh, Persistence, hard names to remember, but they're, um, more rounded out, I mean, it's a great fit and finish, you know, there's no uh, jagged edges on it or anything. I mean, they really take their time making this. Um, comes razor sharp. I gotta finish the video. I'm coming running out of time. Um, there's a note card. Edge. I mean, it just cuts right through a spider. You know, spider coats come razor sharp. That was a fail. <laughs> but, I mean, they come sharp and you just. I call this one the little uh, mini uh, stabber. I don't know, because if you hold it like this, a little shank. but. <laughs> I just, this is just me, I make, I mean, I kind of make fun of it like that, it's such a small knife, but, um, I mean, it's a sharp blade, I mean, it, it's kind of like, you know, the bug, people are like, oh, that's nothing, 
so small, but it gets the job done. Um, thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe if you uh, like my videos. But uh, hope to see you guys again, and thank you for watching.